Today, I'm going to try and identify subway maps from cities around the world. Kia ora, welcome to Mr. Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now, today I was hoping to play the uh, tallest buildings in Asia quiz. And in fact, I did play it, but unfortunately it was strewn with errors and uh, omissions. So it wouldn't have made a very good video. However, I have found an alternative which I think could be even better and we're going to be trying to identify subway maps from all around the world now these could be pretty easy or they could be pretty difficult I guess we will <laughs> wait and see um I am going to take advantage of my little uh zoomy thing here and don't worry as well if you can't see it because for some reason the images load super small on uh sporkle but thankfully we can look at the uh original source image uh to make it a little bit easier on us please fix that sporkle <laughs> for my sake if no one else is anyway let's jump into it because we've got seven minutes for this quiz and if we get done quick i have got a sequel as well um also i do have some news coming up about the channel um i will announce a couple of things sunday evening european time sunday afternoon us time monday morning my time so a couple of announcements coming, and on that video we'll be doing the um, latitude coverage as well, which so many of you have been asking for. But let's jump into this one right now. So we had a look at this one already. Uh, let's open the image, and I think pretty clearly we can see that this is Turkish language uh, based on the letters in use. Um, we should have Taksham Square somewhere around here. Yep, we've got Galatasaray. That's all we need. So we can easily type in Istanbul. Okay, cool. Uh, we only have seven minutes for this. Oh, I missed one. Um, this one, is, we don't need to zoom in. You can see quite clearly these are the distinctive uh, islands in Dubai. I don't want to run out of time on this because I might get stuck on a couple. That is London. Someday I will do a, um, a quiz where I try and name all the London Underground stations, or at least those in Zone 1. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to uh, see that. Okay, cool. Uh, this looks Portuguese to me. Um, Botafogo. This looks like it is probably going to be Rio. Oh, just Rio was sufficient. Excellent. And what have we got here? Uh, it looks initially like Kyrillic, but let's just... Um, well, oh, that's Istanbul. Yeah, that is Kyrillic, so I think we'd be remiss if we did not... Whoa, gosh, what's happened there? Um, do we need to develop a mode? Okay, we have to guess Moscow for this one, don't we? Sorry, this uh, I'm all over the place with this map, aren't I? <laughs> Moscow was correct. Okay, uh, this is Chicago. You can see this is going to be Lake Michigan here. So Chicago... Um, this one, do we have names? San Pedro Street, Washington, Long Beach. Yeah, we saw Long Beach down here. Uh, it also looks quite distinctively like the Los Angeles metro area, so I'm pretty comfortable going with that. Um, this one doesn't look immediately familiar. Um, we've got Richmond. Richmond Brighouse, Brighouse. I mean, the Olympic Village. Okay, that's helpful. City Centre. Um... Surrey, Delta, this isn't going to be Melbourne, I don't think. Let's try Vancouver, because they did have the Olympics there 10 years or so ago. Yep, perfect. Oh, another big, big one here. Uh, this is Paris, right? This is the famous Paris Metro. Excellent. And then I think this one looks like possibly... Is this Tokyo? I mean, I presume the original Tokyo Metro map is going to be in Japanese, but this is possibly a translated map. Shibuya, yeah, that's all we needed. Shibuya right there. That is all we needed to guess Tokyo. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, okay, this one is, I'm not super familiar with. Actually, yes, this is... I've seen this Metro before. I think I've seen it while playing GeoGuessr. And I have a feeling this could be Madrid. But let's just double check. Uh, this looks like Spanish, even though I can't read the uh, Plaza de España. Good enough for me. 
Let's try Madrid. Okay. Um, oh, another one that's interesting. This looks like DC. We have the Smithsonian there, so that should be Washington, DC. That's paradise to me. Um, cool. We have another Olympic Park. We've got Parramatta. We've got Central. We've got Bondi. This is clearly going to be Sydney. Uh, and then we've got three minutes to get the next two. Uh, what do we have here? Centralen, Slusen, Alvik. Okay, let's load this up to a bigger image. See what we can look for. Uh, this looks like it could be Swedish, right? Based on their little... Um, uh, pronunciations so we can try Stockholm I guess fantastic and let's get the last one down this is New York New York great okay so that went pretty well 100% uh, in less than five minutes and we'll have a quick look at the stats as people like to see them. Uh, London was the most guessed. That is an iconic uh, subway design or tube design. Um, Tokyo, Chicago, and then all the way down the bottom is Vancouver. But still a healthy 65% of the world guessed that. So, by the way, thank you to Hijacker with no vowels for making this quiz. Very well done. Um, impressive slideshow making quiz skills. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, we'll move on to map number two, back in a jiffy. Okay, and we are back. Um, so the second quiz I thought I was going to play turned out to be basically a copy of the first, just with snippets instead of um, the full maps, which was a little disappointing. But I didn't want to leave you empty-handed. I did promise a second quiz. So I found this one by NR Silver, which is the World Metro by Stations. Uh, we've got 32 stations. Uh, we have seven minutes, which is a perfect amount of time to try and get this done. And yeah, let's just jump into it. It should be fairly self-explanatory. Charing Cross, etc. is going to be London. Um, State Lake, Sox 35th and Merchandise Mart. Without knowing for sure, I will... Could be... The Sox says it could be Chicago, like the White Sox, right? The other option is Boston. But because it says State slash Lake, I think it's going to be Lake Michigan. Cool, then we have Incheon in the second, uh, the next one, which leads me to think possibly Seoul. Great. Um, then we have Juarez, Salto de la Gua. We could try Mexico City for this. Perfect. Uh, we move on to number five, which has Nevsky Prospect, which I know is a place in Moscow. No, oh gosh. Um, is it St. Petersburg then? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, then we have what looks like uh, Chinese language. So, Zhuji Huay and Zhongshan Park and People's Square. We can try Beijing for this one or Shanghai. Cool. Uh, Potsdamer Platz, Alexander Platz, and Flagstaffsa is going to be Berlin. Yes, excellent. And then Gardu Nord, Republic, and Franklin D. Roosevelt is in Paris. Uh, okay, we've got Mustek Museum and Prashkeho Povstani. Um, that has a little... This is interesting, actually, because I haven't seen this little um, punctuation mark used very often. And the... This looks like... Okay, we'll come back to that one because that's going to need a little bit of pondering. Uh, Bolivar, 9 de Julio, and Avenida de Mayo. I mean, Bolivar suggests South America, right? Uh, okay, first shot. I'm just thinking of cities which I know have metro systems. Uh, Blue, Yonggi, Dundas West, and Queen's Park. The first one sounds possibly Australian. No, uh, this is Canada, right? Yong is a... Um, that's a Canadian name from somewhere. Tell me in the comments where I know that from. Uh, Passage de Garcia, España, or Letre Torres. Let's come back to that. Uh, Imam Khamenei, etc. This should be Tehran. 
Metro Center, Smithsonian, and L'Enfant Plaza. I mean, the last one might be a bit of a red hearing, but I think this is Washington, D.C. Excellent. Help Bahnhof, Max Weber Platz, Olympia Einkaufszentrum, uh, Munich, if it's got an Olympian uh, Olympic station. Uh, this is Portuguese, so we'll try Rio de Janeiro or oh, Lisbon, Sao Paulo. Yes, cool. Back Bay, Mass Ave and Aquarium. I don't know that one. Flaminio, Timini and Colosseo, uh, Colosseo uh, Roma. Rome, okay. Dobie Gout, Harbour Front, Chua Chu Kang, Hong Kong maybe with the Harbour Front? No, um, Singapore. Yes, there we go. Times Square, 42nd Street, that'll be New York City. Tiananmen West, that's Beijing, that's all the information we need. Uh, we have another one which looks possibly Russian, so let's try Moscow. And then Shinjuku, Ginza, and Ikebukuro, and Tokyo. This one will be Hong Kong, Kowloon is the giveaway there. Cool. Uh, Chawi Bazaar, Kashmir Gate, and Patal Najir, Delhi, yep. And I went Delhi first because I think the name Patel is a bit more common in that part of India, although I could be wrong. Okay, Avenida de America, Cuatro Caminos, Diego de Leon, uh, Mexico City for this one based on the American section, or Madrid. Okay, perfect. Uh, more Spanish here, Embarcadero, Civic Center, and Castro. Now, I want to say Havana, first of all, but I think Castro is actually in San Francisco, right? Perfect. Uh, then we have Sadat, Mubarak, and Road El Faraj. This is in Cairo, one of the only three or possibly two African cities with its own metro. This is more Japanese, right? Uh, Shinsaibashi, Nipponbashi, no, or Higashi Umeda. Osaka? Okay, great. Five points, Peachtree Centre and Buckhead. I don't know that one. Okay, this looks like Stockholm. I want to get 100% on this, so I'll skip through it. St. Laurent, McGill, and Berry UQAM. Based on the two languages there, let's try Montreal. Okay, cool. Uh, now, this one could be like Belgrade or... Uh, don't think it'll be... Oh, it was Prague. I was going to say, I didn't know if Prague had a metro. Right, uh, let more Spanish. We'll try... Or possibly Catalan? Yes, maybe Catalan. Okay, so we've got Back Bay, Mass Ave, and Aquarium, and then we've got Five Points, Peach Crew Center, and Buckhead. Both of these are English. Uh, we haven't had any Australian ones yet, so let's try Sydney for both. No, okay, let's try Melbourne for both. Oh, if these are going to be American ones, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Um, Boston has a metro. Yes, that's Boston. Excellent. So now we've got one more. Five points, Peachtree Center, and Buckhead. Los Angeles? No, that was uh, too good to hope for. Toronto, we can try Vancouver. Because we're not just randomly the name of cities. We're thinking of cities which have a metro. Um, Glasgow has a metro, um, which I'll pop up on screen now. It's... Uh, Simple, if nothing else. Um, okay, let's think of American cities. Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta. Yes, there we go. We got there. I don't know what the clue was there. I'm sure. Oh, Peachtree Center is the clue. Mr. N.R. Silver, uh, well done on a fantastic quiz. There was just enough clues there to make it extremely interesting. Um, and I think that was, yeah, very, very well done. Bravo. Let's have a look at the quiz stats. Uh, London was predictably the most guessed, followed by New York and Paris. And then way down the bottom, we have Singapore, uh, Toronto, and Osaka. I mean, these ones are a bit of brute force, I think. Uh, you can kind of narrow it down based on the language. Um, but it, it is a bit difficult to pin down the final answer. Anyway, like I said, I'll be back in a couple of days to finally get around to doing the Latitude quiz. Um, I've got a few other huge quizzes lined up, as well as a few fun sporkle quizzes. And remember to tune in on Sunday slash Monday, depending on where you live, uh, for a couple of pieces of news about the channel. Until next time, kakitiano, goodbye.